So some of you may remember back in October of 2016 that a custom heist was released called the Golden Cruise. It was a standalone heist that wasn't just a rehash of an existing heist, but a fully fledged one that had its own objectives and map. You may further remember that one of the Bible assets in pre-planning was a keycard featuring yours truly, but alas the keycard did nothing. The comments on my video flooded with comparisons against other heists, in particular the Golden Grin, which is understandable as some or most of the scenery and statues are taken from it. But more importantly was the question of, what does that Beecroft keycard do, oh and can you stealth this heist? Well today my friends we get answers to both of those questions so stay tuned. First off the credits, Quackatree for constructing this heist in its original form, it must have been so much hard work and dedication to make it. Secondly, to a Mod Workshop community member named Miami Center for updating it to include the stealth and keycard mechanics. So how the hell does this all work now? Let's get into some one down stealth gameplay and find out. In the assets, I take the almighty Beecroft keycard as this will come in handy later. First things first, what we need to do in this heist is go get our gear, exactly the same as the Golden Grin heist. The guitar box is located in the basement. Make sure that you take in all the sights as you go. Once we have our gear, no need to mask up just yet as we have to find a wrench, the keycard and a crowbar. Make sure that you have chameleon aced in the ghost tree so you can pick up the crowbar and keycard in stealth just to make things a little bit easier. The keycard will always be in the bar area with a dancing bartender nearby, but the crowbar and wrench can be in varying spots, some more difficult to pick up than others. The objective marker will lead you to a guy and a red tool chest and it's in the red tool chest where you will find the wrench. <laughs> Once we have that now we need to go to the basement again to where we got our gear from and play with the valve and pipes. Once we've done this we hide until a worker comes from the other room to look at it then we can enter the other room and grab a blowtorch. Take the blowtorch up to the objective marker and use it on the fire alarm. This opens up the doors at the top of the stairs around the corner to the control room. In the control room there are three clipboards, each indicating a different location on a map. The map is actually of the lighting layout in the basement area, so four lights in either room and the lights in the hallway. Remember the locations of the circled lights and head back down to the basement. Please note that if one of the clipboard does not show a lighting map but instead a clipboard from the big oil heist then you will have to restart as it has bugged. Head downstairs, look up at the lights and interact with them in any order except for the one that was indicated last on the clipboard. We of course took this one last. If done correctly the floor will open up in the hallway and we enter the basement. If we hit it wrong, well all hell breaks loose.
grab the ladder from the floor and place it to get inside the containers and grab the loot. We can then take as much loot as we would like. When you're ready to leave, it's time to play with my keycard. Enter the door, use the crowbar to open the gates, and then it's up to you to hit the keypad. Be aware though, this keypad makes things go very, very crazy. It signals for your escape, you do have to wait, but things will start to get very hot. This is where a slightly different take on a stealth build may come into play here. I made a weird build that had some stealth skills like Chameleon, along with Inspire skills for my AI teammates. Survive long enough for the escape to arrive and then make a dash for it. Such a great heist and I hope there's many more of these to come in the future. Make sure you check out my solo loud version that I did almost a year ago.
Bob. <laughs>